Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another video for you guys today. Today is the January Beckett group submission reveal video. Um, got these back uh, actually today, Sunday. Um, after having to fight with FedEx, uh, that's a whole story, but uh, I was able to get them to deliver it to me on Sunday. And um, was uh, glad to be able to show you guys some returns. Um, this submission was a little bit smaller and uh, other than my um, submissions, I only had one other person that wanted me to show their stuff on the video. So it'll be a short video, but it'll be some nice, interesting stuff uh, to take a look at along with uh, that Lynn Dawson that I mentioned to you guys in my other video. So let's start out with all the paperwork. So we did get the letter um, saying that uh, uh, one of the items, at least one of the items did not pass. You've all seen this letter before. It lists all the reasons why the item may or may not have passed. Have it there so you guys could take a look at it. And then we also got a second letter from another item. And I'll show it. This is in regards to uh, an Arch Manning photograph. Which we'll get to uh, when I show the item. But basically... Um, the note says that they were unable to render an opinion on the autograph, so it was deemed inconclusive. So not, no authentication fees have been charged. However, I did call Beckett, and basically what the breakdown was, was they don't have enough information and haven't got enough verified authentic autographs from this person that they felt comfortable enough to pass it. So it's not that there was anything wrong with it. Um, in fact, they told me that um, as this person becomes a little bit more popular and more autographs are out there to resubmit and they would have no problem uh, authenticating it. But as of right now, there's just not that many out there. So it was just more of a precaution thing than anything else. So this one was not charged any fees. And so uh, that money was refunded. And so uh, here's the paperwork that always comes with it. So it's the Beckett autograph authentication card. And then here's the back of it. And there's a PWCC free vault submissions Beckett graded cards only. Show you the back of that. I like to show you guys these in case any of you are interested in any of this stuff. You guys can pause it and get the information off of the informational flyer there. There you go. And last but not least, this is a golden auction, I believe. Yeah, golden auction. And there you go. So we are going to start with um, Mr. Owen T. Shepke. Uh, he said it was okay for me to show his items on camera. Um, didn't want to be surprised or, any, or wasn't worried about being surprised or anything like that. So we're going to show his items and then we'll get on to mine. And everybody who participated in January submission, um, I'll make sure the orders are out tomorrow in the mail. And you guys will get your tracking numbers uh, so that you guys could follow it all the way to your doorstep. So the first one we're going to start with is the one that they marked inconclusive. And like I said, it's not that uh, there was anything wrong with it. It's just there's not that many of the verified authentic autos out there that they felt comfortable enough in passing. And it's Mr. Arch Manning. I say Mr., but he's in high school. Uh, this is a uh, Peyton and Eli's young nephew, uh, like one of the top, if not the top high school quarterback recruits out there. Um, Owen was able to get his autograph and it looks amazing. And, uh, I cannot wait to see this thing eventually slabbed cause I think it's going to be awesome. And uh, it's one of the first autos I've seen from Arch Manning. So it's pretty cool that even at his young age, he, he knows the importance of his family and is willing to sign autographs. And so, Owen, I know you had your heart set on getting this slabbed, man. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, like I said. Uh, it's just, it's so new that uh, they just did not want to, they just did not want to feel like passing it at this moment just because they want to make sure. So this will be on its way back to you. But again, this is an awesome, awesome photo, awesome, awesome autograph. And uh, will be a nice one to have in the collection. So there you go, Owen. It'll be on its way back to you. And the second item Owen had authenticated 
take it out of the plastic so it's easier to see, is this awesome 4x6 index card. And it is signed by Mr. Dirk Nowitzki. You can see it right there. And this thing turned out amazing in this slab. Definitely a nice piece to uh, have in the collection. Easily going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer as soon as he qualifies. One of the greatest scorers of all time. The uh, reason big men can shoot uh, deep jumpers and three-pointers now is because of Dirk. And this is just a great, great, great collection piece. So awesome job, Owen. Looks great in his case, my friend. And your items will be on out in the mail to you tomorrow. Thank you for joining the submission. Hope you enjoyed uh, being a part of it. I know it was a little wonky with that Arch Manning, but, uh, you know, that's what happens when you're one of the first ones seemingly to get an autographed item. So thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, now we're going to go on to mine. I only submitted three cards. We're going to start with the bad news. Uh, this is that Len Dawson I told you guys about. I'm going to try to get as close to the camera as possible so you guys can see the autograph. You can see he put Len Dawson, whoever put Len Dawson in the Hall of Fame 87 on it. This card was perfect for autograph just because it's white everywhere. And the black Sharpie looked amazing. And uh, the $5 fee I thought would um, guarantee the authenticity, which it didn't, of course. And uh, that's what we get. So I have this Topps Legends card that is uh, useless. So there you go. So hope you guys can see the autograph clearly so you guys can compare it to yours. Compare it to uh, certified copies of it. But uh, yep, yeah, that's what we got. So that is a bummer. Now, the other two I submitted uh, both passed, so that's a good thing. So we got Mr. Leroy Kelly on this 1974 Tops. You can see he inscribed the Hall of Fame 1994. Mr. Kelly is a $5 per charge, and uh, it's a bargain. He is a fantastic running back. Obviously, he's a Hall of Famer, and uh, he just does a great job. His signature is nice. The back of the card, so you guys can see it. But definitely, definitely glad to get Mr. Leroy Kelly back. I have another one of Leroy Kelly that I might get uh, authenticated down the line here. But I wanted to at least get one in a case. And the other authentic uh, autograph that came back was one of mine from Mr. Sean Merriman. So it did come back legit. I'm glad that it came back legit. I have another one uh, that I will send off uh, soon here. Uh, but I picked uh, the better of the two. And so I'm definitely happy to get Sean Merriman back. So those of you that have gotten Sean back, uh, you could probably rest assured that it is legit and you're good to go. He was not a charge or a fee or anything like that, um, which is pretty nice. But yeah, this came out awesome. I couldn't be more happier. My daughter was excited to see uh, Merriman come back in that Chargers uniform, of course. So that is all for the submission that I'm going to show on camera. I uh, wanted to thank Owen again. Uh, thank all of you that participated that uh, want to be surprised when you guys get your orders in. Um, February's is still supposedly on track. I'm hoping to get more information in the week or so here. And um, uh, March's order is uh, processing. So, guys, I appreciate uh, you joining uh, the submissions. I appreciate you watching the videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And um, also, uh, like the video leave comments below i like answering your comments and uh take the time to click on the notification bell so you can see all my videos that are coming out um greatly appreciate all you guys' time hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend fantastic sunday have a blessed evening until our next video see, see ya, ya. Bye, guys. bye guys